crypto, particularly Bitcoin. So keep you up to date on that, keeping you up to date on all things politics and what's certainly going on uh, in Iowa these days. And this talk that, uh, of course, the New Jersey governor, Chris Christie, or the former New Jersey governor, uh, is going to bail out of the presidential race, potentially throw his support behind Nikki Haley. Way too soon to tell here. We'll know in about 20 minutes. But we do know that it's not only Republicans sort of testing out the political waters or snows right now. So is uh, the no labels group that it's looking for a middle way around, let's say, an inevitable outcome. Some fear, depending on your point of view, of seeing a rematch of the last presidential contest featuring uh, Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Brian uh, Clancy joins us right now, the No Labels Chief Strategist. Brian, uh, Brian, good to have you. I apologize. Let me first get your take on whether your move to find a, a, a third party type candidate hinges on that scenario. It's it's Donald Trump and Joe Biden. Less so would you make this push if it were someone else? Yeah, it, it is It is most likely we'd go forward if it were Trump-Biden. The reason being, we've said from the beginning, the only reason we'd go forward is if we think there's an opening where a unity ticket could win. And um, if it's Trump-Biden, we, we think it can. If it's somebody else, probably not. When you say a unity ticket, to a lot of people that means a Republican and a Democrat together. Um, now that, 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 that is what has been talked about. Uh, wh- where are you on this? That's the goal. We've said from the beginning we'd like to have a Democrat and a Republican, though we'll entertain independence in the end if we think that's what gives us the you know, best chance to win. So uh, Joe Manchin of, of, of West Virginia, the, the senator is not seeking re-election there, but very clearly, seriously entertaining a presidential run. Have you talked to him? Is he the guy for the top of that ticket? We, what we haven't been talking to candidates. What we've been doing is actually doing a lot of consultations with our members across the country to get a better sense of the kind of candidates they want to see, the traits that they want to see. We'll make a decision sometime after March 15th, one, whether we go forward to offer our ballot line to a ticket, and then two, ultimately, who would be on it. All right. But his name seems to come up a lot. A lot of your members seem to be intrigued by that and the idea of maybe a Mitt Romney or someone like him as his running mate. Is that true? Uh, well, there's been a lot of speculation out there, but that has been speculation put out there by everybody else. So we haven't released any names. Nobody has an inside track on the nomination, certainly. Our focus right now is getting on the ballot. We're on the ballot in 13 states. We actually just got on the ballot in Maine last week. And I want to emphasize that is very much ahead of schedule. I mean, when Ross Perot was doing his signature gathering in 92, he hadn't even started uh, gathering signatures yet. So we feel very confident hmm. that if there's a unity ticket, it'll be able to compete in all 50 states. Now, he in recent history stands out as one of the more remarkable third party candidates. I think he got 19 percent of the vote in 1992, but not a single electoral vote. So are you right. pushing something that might be more divisive than helpful? In other words, someone who will take votes away from one of the other candidates uh, and not necessarily help your own? Well, Neil, I mean, look, that's the line that the party elites have been pushing for the better part of a year because they don't want the competition. But what matters to us is the voters. And for a year, the public has been saying unequivocally, we do not want this rematch. Please don't give it to us. Not only have the parties not given them a choice, they've done everything they could to stand in the way of that choice. So the, the Democrats refuse to allow any primary challenges to Biden. The Republicans have changed their delegate uh, uh, allocation rules to make it easier for Trump. So there's no outlet for this frustration the public has. And that's mm-hmm. why every poll we do Something on the order of three and five voters say they'd at least be open to voting for an independent option if it's Biden and Trump. But again, just to make it clear, it might still be Joe Biden. But let's say something evolves in the Republican Party and there is a threat to Donald Trump. Chris Christie drops out, throws his support to someone like a Nikki Haley. She's the Republican nominee. I'm getting way ahead of my political skis. Does this search mission of yours end right there? It probably does, and I'll tell you why. In in the polling we've seen, uh, if it it is a GOP nominee other than Trump, it looks like there's a lot of Republican voters that might entertain a a unity ticket if it's Trump, but if it's someone else, they'll probably just go home, and they'll be happy enough with their their standard bearer, whoever that is, other than Trump. Got it. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. Good seeing you. All right, in the meantime, we are focusing on uh, now this idea of a federal probe to look into 